no, really. I have been trying to forget. I was mad with fear. I closed the door and blocked my ears. I prayed out loud to deafen the rampage outside. Is this all you wanted to tell me? No. Earlier on, at the funeral, I saw something. Perhaps it is not important, but Dr. Stewart surely argued with Lady Miriam. He strongly demanded something, but she obviously refused. Do you know what the subject of the argument was? Did you overhear any words? I had the impression he wanted to look into the coffin, but the lady refused. Yes, it might have been so. Now that I know that Sir William... it must have been so. So you think he wanted to make sure that Sir William is truly dead? Yes, it makes sense. That explains why Dr. Stewart did not come home after the funeral. He stayed somewhere near the cemetery and waited until everybody left. His conscience troubled him, and he obviously paid for it. No, I'm sure it wasn't his shoes which... No, I'm sure it wasn't his shoes which left... No, I'm sure it was... Tell Lady Miriam that Mr. Stewart's body was found. I think she'll be familiar with the name. Oh my goodness, isn't it over yet? Far from it. I'll tell her right away. If this doesn't get that old lady to pick up the phone, then nothing will. My lady will call you in a minute. Your news upset her very much. I do apologize. The lady might be insulted. Yes, madam, I'm listening very carefully. I don't want to violate your privacy, madam, but you surely understand that the circumstances under which... Exactly. Mr. Stewart, your family doctor. And did you talk to... I have a witness to your argument. Did he ask you for another examination of Sir William's body? It wasn't nonsense, as you... I found evidence. I'm terribly... Madam? 
Oh my goodness, Lady Miriam! Lady Lewis? Thank God. Are you all right? I'm terribly sorry, but all the evidence seems to make clear when your grandson was buried, and then it seems changed his mind. I'll spare you all the details, dear lady, but please, I'd like one of my best guards to s He will protect you and intervene. I understand you don't wish it, but there is a chance Sir William is alive. No, of course I'm not going to hunt him. He suffered from a terrible shock, and he'll need medical assistance. But at the same time, I can't rule out the possibility he'll be aggressive. Two people died, madam. All right, this is your decision, and I'm inclined to respect it. But I have to warn you. If Sir William returns home, immediately inform the police. Good day. Her reaction was convincing. Pity I had to tell it to her in such a way. But I needed to make sure she has nothing to do with the case. I can't see anything suspicious. I didn't think anybody had... Detective, you're like that. What happened, officer? The patrol who sent for that journalist is back. Do they have him? Uh, they don't. Well, let me know when they do. Well, wouldn't his printer be enough for now? He's in custody. Hmm, that's not a bad idea. He's been arrested because he refused to open the door to the detective so the journalist could escape. What a f go down the. We're a bit crowded right now. It doesn't matter. Nothing to tell him. Detective Briscoe. Do you know a man called... I should. I work for him. I have several questions for you. If you answer them, you can go home. Ask away. I want to know about the last issue, the leading article. Who is your source? Detective, I'm just a print worker. I do what I'm told. Do you know that I could send you to prison for two years? The judge wouldn't even blink. Why would you? There are plenty of printers. The papers would be pressed elsewhere. We'll see. You'll be an example. You'll be punished in everyone else's place. Especially the ink spiller. That's not fair. Consider it recompense for all the rubbish you've printed. Whatever you say. I don't know nothing, see? A stubborn, stubborn donkey. donkey. How long have you been working for the Courier? For several years, I guess. So you and Mr. Forrest are friends? Guess so. Tell me, what sort of a man is he? He seems to be quite insane. Oh, no. 
He knows exactly what he's doing. Pretty smart. That's why he did what he did. Does he really believe what he has been writing? About Sir William? I guess so. Do you talk about it? Yeah, but only technical details. You're not being very helpful. Sorry, Detective. I've told you as much as I know. I think he's just playing with me. He takes me for a fool, but I won't swallow the bait. Maybe you know I met Mr. Forrest yesterday morning at the cemetery. He was in such a hurry that he forgot his camera. That's nothing unusual. Do you know what surprised me? The photographs in the papers do not match the angle of the camera position. Strange, isn't it? So he took more shots. That's normal. It's a matter of light and so on. No, no, he didn't have that much time. I'm sure he managed one shot at the most. So, what's your version of the story? If you're waiting for me to tell you, I don't know. That's not necessary. There's only one possible explanation. He was there first, and then he put on a little show to make a fool out of me. That's not how it went. How did it go, then? Isn't it true that the only thing that sells your papers are recent mysterious murders? What would Mr. Forrest be capable of doing just to keep the public's attention? What about killing somebody and then framing Sir William? But when Sir William died, the Golden Age ended. He must have taken the body away to create another filthy story claiming he was still alive and murdering. You're insane. The gravedigger probably troubled him, so he took care of him. But he saved the best for last. The journalist must have had a trusted accomplice. He would never have done it alone. Your silence proves how faithful you are. It's clear that only you can be the accomplice. Confess. How many murders are you responsible for? None! That's just rubbish. Oh my god, I haven't killed anybody! It doesn't matter anymore. The prosecution will have a different opinion. Think about it. I think I, think I hit I the hit bullseye. bullseye. He seems to be pondering something. I think this is a good sign. Something simple first. Where is he? Who? Don't play dumb with me. Ah, you mean Nate. Well, I have no idea. Do you know anything at all? I'm just a print worker, sir. What I know you can read in the papers, that's all. Just as you like. You're shooting yourself in the foot. Sometimes I regret that the police stopped using thumb screws. Nothing to tell. Maybe I could visit the print worker. See if he has changed his mind. He's had enough time. I'm not thirsty now. I wouldn't drink from most fountains, but this... 